Hey, welcome back to the channel. I got something here. Hey, check out the new shirts. Got Tony's Tractor Adventure shirts. You can get them uh, on the on the screen below the video. It's, I think it's Teespring. That's what it's called, Teespring. And that's what it says on the back. It says we love uh, tractors. You can get it about any color that you want. Let me see it again. What? Want to see it again? She wants to see it again. Can you see it? Yeah. All right. So that's what it says on the back, we love tractors. And uh, you can get that at the link below the video. Um, but anyway, the, the color is like an OD green army. I'm, you know, I'm a retired army guy, so they, it's kind of a slimming effect, I think. Stupid coronavirus. But anyway, here's what we're here for. I have had several people that are looking at the TYM 474, uh, T474, and they're trying to make a decision of if they're gonna buy the tractor or not. And one of the things is they don't have any videos out there on it on how to take the backhoe off and the loader off. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take the backhoe off and the loader off. So let's do that. Tony's Tractor Adventure. All right, this is the first time that I've ever taken the backhoe off this tractor, but I've taken off a bunch of backhoes. And honestly, just from looking at it, there it's uh, probably once you start doing this and you do it two or three times, uh, you'll be proficient and can get this thing off in probably three to five minutes. Always pre-position your backhoe somewhere that's pretty level. Uh, it doesn't have to be on blacktop. That is, you know, concrete or blacktop is by far the best choice. Uh, somewhere gravel, somewhere that's not gonna get unlevel. It, it, and even if it does, it's not the end of the world. You can still get it back on. It's just, I like to have my backhoe setting somewhere level and stable. All right, we're gonna get to it. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start the tractor up. It was already running, so. So your tractor is uh, parking brakes on and it's running. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put your outriggers out. Doesn't matter if it's, I got it on idle, so right now it's, they still go out pretty fast. And all you're gonna do is just take a, just a, a hint of weight off of the frame. So then you're gonna take this bucket and you're gonna set it out to the back. And push down just to air, just a little bit, not too much. And now we're gonna get off. All right, now we got the engine shut off. You don't have to shut the engine off. It's just, I guess safety wise, yes, you probably would want to. We're gonna go down here and remove two pins. And I snuck down here before and popped this pin out without thinking about it. Uh, it's just a clevis pin right here. There's one silver pin here, you can slide it out. And then there's one on the other side. It's got the same kind of pin. You can do it from both sides if you're agile. Just pop them out. Now sometimes, let me pull this pin out so you can see it. Oh, let me get my old butt up. Sometimes these pins, there's one on this side and one on that side. Huh? There it is. There's one on this side down at the bottom and one on the other side. Sometimes the back hole, uh, I'm not had it happen on this one, but on other back holes with similar design, the back hole will get twisted just a little bit in the cradle and you'll just take the the boom and wiggle back and forth and just straighten the cradle back out and these will pop, these should just pull right out. These just slip right out, they can slip right back in. So that's that. Now, don't lose these. So if you're not gonna use the you know the backhoe for a long time, put your put your pins away. Stow them or otherwise you'll be looking for them. But here's this nice little place here to put these. Hang on. And just put the pin through the hole and on the inside you can flip that little I don't know if that's what it's meant for or not, but it's a great place for it. Actually, it looks like it could be a top link that goes through there. And that may be uh, an option for different backhoes, but I know there's one on either side and it's a great place to put these pins. That's the only two pins that you have. All right, so we're gonna start the tractor back up now. All right, after you get these pins put up out of the way, if you have your draw bar in place, you'll need to remove it. Let's see here. And it's just one pin. Let me rephrase that. You don't really have to remove the draw bar. Uh, this tractor has an anti-rattle uh, bolt, basically what it is. If you can see this, can you see that? Yep. All right, let's make sure my camera person see that. It's got a, a bolt that you tighten down and it takes the rattle out of your out of your draw bar. So really all you have to do is just remove this pin for your draw bar, but do not forget to put your pin back in. Because if you don't put the pin back in, you hook something to the draw bar, it will yank it out the back of your tractor. All right, we're gonna crank it up. 
Let me get my camera person where we need to be. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, you'll see me kind of gun the tractor a little bit. I want to uh, get the metal sliding on itself. So you're just gonna kind of just gun it just a little bit. And see how easy it is? I'm just gonna pull forward about, I guess about 12 inches is about all you want to. Just make sure the cradle's free. free. Put your parking brake on. And then what we're gonna do now is take the hoses off. Okay, now we've got this pulled forward about uh, out of 10 inches, 12 inches forward, just enough to get it out of the cradle. What we're gonna do now is take the back hoses off. But before we take the back hoses off, we want to set the cradle of the backhoe on the ground while we still have the use of the hydraulics of the tractor. So let's do that. I'll start it up. Parking brake is engaged. All I'm gonna do is come here and ever so gently just set this cradle on the ground. Left, right, and pull them back at the same time. Now I'm gonna do is drop the boom in the front a little bit. All right, now my, my outriggers are completely down. Take all the pressure off so it's sitting on the cradle. All right, so I'm gonna leave a little pressure on the outriggers. So now all the weight is sitting on the cradle, the outriggers, and the boom. If you really want to, some people will put a block up under here to keep this from leaking down. Uh, it's not a problem if you want to. We're only gonna leave this here for a few minutes while we demonstrate this, so I'm not putting blocks up under it. All right, now the backhoe is separated and the weight of the backhoe is sitting on its on the ground. You want to take the rear lines off, but before you do that, you want to turn the rear remote valve off. My camera person is going to bring it in here. Miss Tanya is going to bring it in here close. Let's see here. Can you see it? Right here is the valve. This is your rear remote valve right here. All right, now normally this valve would spring back, it would spring back to center automatically, but when they put a backhoe in it, they put what they call a detent valve in. So when you go to put the backhoe valve or backhoe back on, you gotta make sure that the detent valve is in. If you take the rear remotes off and uh, leave this detent in the on position, you have on basically out one valve or neutral and then go out the other valve. So if you leave this in the own position and try to drive away from the backhoe, your, the tractor's gonna act all crazy and it's gonna have noises. Your three-point hitch is not gonna come up and down because you're diverting the, uh, you're deadheading the hydraulic pressure. So we're putting it back to the center. So you wanna put it back to the center. I hope I made that as clear as mud. Now we're back here to uh, remove the hoses. All you wanna do is make sure there's no excess pressure. Because if there is uh, any excess pressure, like right there, make sure your toes are not up under something that's important. Uh, just make sure there's no excess pressure. And then therefore you can just pop these quick connects off right here. Put your cap back on them. Set them off out of the way. Uh, I would not put them here under the seat. I just noticed that because if that seat was to get pushed down, it could cut them lines. So here we go. I'm gonna have to release the pressure off up here too. There we go. Sometimes you'll have to go back to the valve in the front and release some pressure off too. And that's all it was, a little pressure built up. So after you turn the engine off, make sure you flip the, uh, the rear remote valve back and forth to release any pressure after you do this. Uh, you wanna release any pressure here. And then that way when you go to put the lines back on, uh, it'll be easier. So now we're completely disconnected from the backhoe. What you wanna do is start the tractor up and drive straight away. When you put the backhoe back on, you'll back directly in it. And then when you're taking it off, you're gonna drive straight away. Otherwise you can you know, run over the very corner of the uh, backhoe frame and maybe damage your tire. So pull straight away. Parking brakes off. It's gonna ease straight forward. And that's how easy it is to take the backhoe off. However, don't forget that one important thing I told you. When you're using your tractor as a tractor, make sure you put your pin back in. That extra pin down here holds this drag link on. 
and without that end you could actually pull that dude out all right three point hitch is ready one other thing if you're not going to be using your rear remotes right away go ahead and pop the the covers back on and your tractor is ready to hook up to a three point hitch implement i love this i really like this tractor i want one no come on all right, hey, I really appreciate you watching our channel. If you like what we do, hit that thumbs up. If you really like what we do, hit the subscribe button uh, and hit the uh, bell notification to let, let you know when we put out something new. Next video, we're gonna show you how to put it all back on. And check out the shirt. It's a little bit sweaty right now because it's only 9,472 degrees out here today. But check out the new shirts. God bless, have a great day.